Tonight, Democrat turned independent Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona is bucking President Biden yet again, introducing a bill to counter the expected surge of migrants at the border when Trump lifts title, when Biden lifts Title 42 next week. That's the pandemic era rule that border officials use nearly three million times to expel migrants from the U.S. Sinema is also calling out the White House for its claims that the border is secure. Obviously, the border is not secure. Anyone with eyes can see that. It would be most helpful if the administration would start by actually enforcing the laws that are on the books. This all comes as Sinema's re-election plans remain a mystery, but she is already taking incoming fire from nearly every direction. Kyung Law is out front in Arizona with more. Nearly all of these Arizona Democrats worked to elect Kirsten Cinema to the U.S. Senate in 2018. How many of you will do that again? In her first term, Senator Cinema has bucked her own party, blocking the White House from the debt ceiling to filibuster reform. And late last year, bolted from the Democratic Party to become an independent. Registering as an independent and showing up to work with the title of independent is a reflection of who I've always been. Cinema has yet to announce she's running for re-election, but doing so would be a political gamble. Registered voters in this battleground state are split nearly evenly between Democrats, Republicans, and independents. We call upon your resignation. The Democratic base says they feel betrayed, accusing Cinema of listening to donors instead of voters. Cinema sold out. That anger Ruben Gallego. is offering a political opportunity for Ruben Gallego, Democratic congressman, Latino, and a combat veteran. He's challenging cinema from the left. She broke trust with a lot of the people of Arizona. Uh, they don't trust her values anymore, and she's not trying to repair that relationship. Do you believe that Arizona is a blue state? I think Arizona is a bluer state. It's, it's becoming bluer, but you still have to fight. You still have to win the moderate vote. This battle? It's a, what, what the old uh, popcorn, you're just kind of watching it, you know. Is welcome news for Republican State Representative Justin Wilmoth. You know, glass stones and all of that stuff, so it's, it's nice to see. It's nice to see. Well, sure, I mean, I'm, I'm a politician, man. I'm a Republican. And knowing that your opponent is having problems getting to the line of scrimmage and executing their plays is good for me. Of course it is. Still, there is uncertainty on the Republican side, with Trump loyalist Kerry Lake teasing a possible Senate bid. Wilmoth says a three-way race with independent incumbent cinema scrambles the entire swing state again. Man, she is interesting. She is like an enigma wrapped in a riddle with, a, with like a burrito around it. You know, it's just, it's so crazy. And it's a, it's a testament to Arizona and what this state is. And I think she's got a legitimate chance. She's a very wily and smart politician. Cinema's path to victory likely rests with these types of voters, registered independents. This group meets monthly, trying to find solutions to political extremism in Arizona. Even here, cinema is divisive. I'm, I'm wondering who's her constituency. I gave her money and she is dead to me. I think she stood firm on the budget and I agreed with her. But can she win? Well, I think she's not <laughs> stupid. Running for one party and then turning around right when you're done and switching to independent, that's just wrong. I really want somebody who's going to say, this is what I believe, this is what I'm going to do, and I don't care what party I'm affiliated with. Clint Smith is leading this meeting. He ran for Congress in 2022 as an independent candidate, betting his campaign on the high numbers of independents. He lost. Does she fall the same fate as you did? She's got some major advantages that I did not have. A lot of name recognition and some major bank. But do you think she will win? From my experience, I feel like people retreat to their corners when push comes to shove. We did reach out to Senator Sinema's office to take part in the story. Her office declined to do so and said, sending us this statement saying, quote, Kirsten is focused on delivering real solutions, not campaign politics. Pam. All right, Kim Law, thank you so much for that.